Welcome to this video demonstrating how to navigate around OpenClinica and how to successfully complete data entry for the SURF on trial. First, a quick explanation of what OpenClinica is, as well as an introduction to some of the key terminology used in OpenClinica. OpenClinica is a clinical data management system used for electronic data capture and data management. It is accessed via a web browser. Currently, the supported web browsers are Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer. Before we log into OpenClinica, I will explain some key terminology used throughout the application. First, study. This refers to the trial, in this case, SURFON. Participant. This is a patient within the study. Event or study event. This refers to a data collection point such as randomization, or entry, or withdrawal. These will become more apparent once we open the application. CRF, this stands for case report form and is a form used to collect and contain data for a study event. And finally, queries. These are queries or annotations for data items where a value that has been entered is not as expected. Now let's look at the OpenClinica application. You should have received an invitation email which included your login credentials and a link to the OpenClinica application. Once you have successfully logged in, you will be taken to the home page. At the top, you'll see the name of the study, Surfon, and the centre name, in this case, Centre 102. Underneath that, we have the navigation bar Wherever you are in OpenClinica, clicking the Home button will bring you back to the home page for the current study or site. Depending on your role within OpenClinica, your home page will be different. In the case of a data entry person or clinical research coordinator, your home page will display the participant matrix, which is the next button on the top of the navigation bar. The participant matrix is a table with event information for all participants recruited at your site. This is where you can view, enter and edit data for participants and their events in the study. Each row represents a participant. The first column contains the study participant ID, also known as the study number. All of the subsequent columns contain the study events for the data collection points in the study. As you can see here, some of the events are entry, trial intervention, and withdrawal. The next button on the navigation bar is the Add Participant button. Do not click the Add Participant button under any circumstances. You will not need to use this button because the participants are automatically added via the SurfOn randomization website as shown in the previous training video. Also, above the Participant Matrix table is another Add New Participant button. Do not click this one either. The next button on the navigation bar is Queries. I won't go into this menu just yet, but this will display a list of all queries for this centre's participants, which will be used to track and manage any data issues. For now, I'm going to concentrate on the Participant Matrix. At the moment, this centre only has a couple of recruits, so it's very easy to manage. But as the study progresses, we'll have more and more participants and they will be displayed across multiple pages. There are several ways to search for subjects in the participant matrix. One way is to enter the participant ID in the navigation bar. You can also use the buttons just above the main table in order to switch between the pages. Or you can enter a participant ID in the first column and then click apply filter which you can then clear if you want to view all of the participants at your center. We're now going to look at the different icons displayed in the study events. These represent the different statuses for data entry in an event. There is a key on the left-hand side of the page for reference, but I will quickly explain the most common statuses and what they mean. Firstly, the green completed icon with the white tick indicates data entry has been completed. You will not see any of these in the current study as no events have been completed. Secondly, we have the dark blue icon. This indicates that the event has been scheduled and is ready for data entry. 
we automatically schedule some events when a participant is added because we are expecting data to be collected for these events. So for surf on, for example, we will expect data to be entered by sites for the trial intervention form. Events that are expected to be filled in for only a subset of participants, for example, withdrawal forms, will display the light blue icon. This means that the form can be scheduled when the event needs to be completed. Finally, the orange icon with the white pencil indicates data entry has started, but is yet to be marked as complete. This is the case for the entry form, as we've already completed the randomization section, but we still need to reconfirm this and do the woman's questionnaire. So now that I've briefly explained the data entry statuses, I'll demonstrate how to start and complete the entry event. So to view the event, I'm going to click the orange icon and then click view enter data. This will take me to a page that shows me that the randomization data for the entry event has already been completed, but I still have two more forms to complete before this event can be marked as complete. So I'll just click this icon and this will take me to a page where I can begin entering the entry data. The first few tabs of this just require me to reconfirm the data entered at randomization. There is then a few more sections that require me to enter further data for this infant. The next thing to demonstrate is how queries are generated in Open Clinica. There are lots of data checks within a form. For example, checking whether numerical values are in the correct range, or in the following example, checking whether the data matches that generated at randomization. You can see an alert has popped up for the time of birth question. If I had entered the correct value at randomization, I should update the value here. However, in the case that I'm happy with the data entered here, I need to raise a query. To do this, click the bubble above the question, then click the queries tab, enter a reason for this question failing validation, and then click add query to confirm. You will now notice the bubble has gone red and I can continue with data entry. Now I'll finish up the rest of the form and mark it as complete. I'm also going to really quickly enter the entry questionnaire. And upon completing this, you can now see that the event status is completed. And when I go back to the participant matrix, I've now got a green icon to say this event is completed. Now I will start entering the respiratory support form to demonstrate what happens when data is missing and the user attempts to complete the form. You can see this time I'm prompted with data errors and my options here are, as before, I can either enter the missing answers or I can raise a query for each data item and then I can complete the event. The final thing to demonstrate is how to schedule an event. These are forms not anticipated to be filled in for every infant. To schedule an event, I need to click the clock icon, click schedule, 
click proceed to enter data and I can now start data entry as with any other form. I'll just quickly fill in this withdrawal form and return to the participant matrix where you can now see the event is marked complete. That concludes the Open Clinica section of the SERFON training.